Hey everyone. So if you are interested in getting your Strava data uh, into an easier format to work with for visualization, you can do it pretty quickly with Observable. So here I've got my Strava profile. I recently ran the Leadville Marathon, which was pretty fun. If I click on my activity and go to these options here and de click on the export GPX, I'll get my GPX file. And that um, I can use to start working with it. Um, so I'm going to go to this template I've made for a GPX to JSON template. And what it's going to do is it's going to convert that GPX file to a JSON format, which is much easier for visualization. So I'm just going to fork this notebook. And then there we are. I've got my own copy of it. And now I just got to swap out with this morning run file. So I'll go to my file attachments here. Let me just get the morning run data pulled in. Here we are. And now if I swap out afternoon run with morning run, there we go. Now I've got a new chart there with my running data. And once I have that, I can now visualize this however I like. So I just have a simple one of heart rate over time. You know, you could do a scatter plot if you wanted to. Uh, maybe compare the relationship between elevation and heart rate. So elevation, spell like that, heart rate is just HR. And maybe there's some trends there. <laughs> um, I've also got a collection of running visualizations that are pretty cool to try to do some kind of novel ways of showing your running data. So if you like any of those, you can always import that. So I've got this one here that kind of animates runs over time, showing the heart rate, the elevation, the pace. Um, if I want to, I can just find that code. It's this version one function. There we are. And if I click on copy import, I can add that to my notebook. There's my imported function. And then just call that. And now I've got this cool visualization of my Leadville Marathon. You can see you know, it starts at 10,000 feet and goes all the way up to a little over 12,000 feet. You know, sometimes my heart rate goes high and then it goes lower. Um, but yeah, pretty quick to get your running data from Strava into an observable notebook.